Hey everybody, this is Will with AppAddict.net, and today I'm doing a review on a new battery. I think it's probably more so revision, just kind of a, an upgrade in the, in the compared to the previous battery. I did do a review on the previous version of this. It was a white one, though. They're very similar, and obviously the same uh, f core functionality, charging your smartphone or tablet type devices. Uh, this is the same thing. It got kind of redesigned here, and it has a little bit more power to it. And they add kind of a sleek look to this. So, as you can tell, this is a huge freaking battery. It is giant. Um, and uh, let's see, what was the upgrade? It, it bumps up to 13,000 mAh. Holy moly, that's huge. Um, and as you can see, we've got pretty much what appears to be a copy of a Decepticon logo here at the top. When you touch that, that lights up his eyes. You can see the power bars. So you can kind of see how much juice you got left. So... This version, the other one was white. This one is now black with kind of a rubber grip on the sides. It's got, you know, pretty much exactly what it is. It's got dual USB on the front for dual charging. It's got the little LED light if you hold the button. Come on. There it goes. And right above it is the micro USB for actually charging it, which is this charger right here. And it's got the standard USB cable. So really, this is just a wall charger with a micro USB cable that you use to charge the device. Um, here, I'll just go ahead and get into this. So this is kind of nice. They redid this. looks a lot higher quality. Nothing fancy. It's just a wall charger. And that's how you plug this thing in. Um, some of the official specs for this thing that I've read is that you can charge uh, most predominant smartphones, current new smart, smart, blah, smartphones, about six times. So I, I believe this, it said you could charge an iPhone 4S about six times. You could charge an iPad 2 about two and a half times or two times, I think it was. So that's very, very substantial. And with this type of battery, you know, all, all you do, it's it's huge and it's quite weighty. I'd say it probably weighs over a pound. Uh, what you do is find a good compartment in sort of like your travel bag, your laptop bag, work bag, whatever, and make this its permanent home. This, because this thing, this thing isn't something you travel with. It is huge, but, um, they're extremely handy, and I, I use these very, very often, uh, these larger ones, because I can charge, you know, my iPhone 5, whatever, multiple times without having to worry about it. Or if I'm downstairs, you know, with the TV on, all that stuff, and my charger is upstairs on my nightstand, I'm not going to hear my phone if it goes off. So what I'll do is I'll bring this in the living room and charge my phone that way so I can actually hear everything. Uh, it works out a lot better. And, you know, you can charge multiple devices at the same time. Obviously, that'll take double the juice. Charging this thing up itself takes quite a while. It's kind of a, a circumstance where you're going to allot a couple hours to charge this thing, you know, five or six hours. So what I usually do is I uh, fully deplete its battery and then I charge it overnight because this thing takes quite a while to charge up. Um, it's kind of simple as that, you know, they redid the design. It's got the, the red here on the sides is actually rubber, so it's a good grip. And they, they kind of made it sleeker and copied a Decepticon logo on the top. <laughs> I don't know how they did that. Um, but, you know, just like the previous review I did, it works great. Um, and I'm having a great time with it. I, I enjoy the upgrade. It, I don't think it wasn't 100% necessary, but it's obviously with the time is to come. They added a little bit more power to it to compensate for all the new devices coming out with a larger battery. So I'm anxious to see how much this will charge my iPad mini coming in the mail today. So um, I'll maybe drop that in the comments uh, below once I have some time to test with that. Um, this one did not come with all the a, a ton of uh, you know blah I can't talk today I swear with, with all the attachments for different smartphones and you know I don't disagree with that generally what I do is I use my cables that come with it anyway and I always have extras and of course me in my channel being mainly for Apple stuff and with the new lightning cable you know, no one, and I, me personally, I won't touch a third-party lightning cable for probably a year. Um, you know, they're talking all about breaking the, the, the chip so they can actually figure out how to make the, the third parties out there can make lightning cables. Sorry, I'm not trusting that whatsoever. And with these, you know, I trusted third-party 30-pin uh, cables. It wasn't that big a deal, but I've heard rumors and uh, stories of, like, people, like, blowing out their iPhone 5s using third-party cables and yeah sorry not gonna happen with me 
So I, you know, recommend using, you know, for most smartphones other than iPhones, you're using probably mini USB and stuff like that. So, you know, buy a decent cable and use your own cable. I, I don't recommend using the, the cables that come with these generally that are from them and they have, you know, you get like 50 attachments. Just use a, a dedicated cable so you're safe and so your, 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 your smartphone or tablet is secure and safe when it comes to charging. Charging is, you know, people usually take it lightly, but you really want to do want to take it seriously and make sure you're using a high quality cable and not something that's going to ruin your device. So, you know, use, use good third party micro USB cables and use official lightning cables. You already, if you bought an iPhone five, you have the money to go out and buy an extra lightning cable. Just do it. Uh, don't go on Amazon or eBay and pay five bucks for a pile of junk cable. You know, we're going to have third party accessories coming pretty quick. Official ones. Uh, I think I heard in November is when uh, Apple's unleashing that ability to a third party. So we'll have cheaper cables coming soon. Till then, use official ones, people. Anyway, this is a great battery. It's as simple as that. I believe it's about 35 bucks. All the info I will drop down in the, the uh, description bar. So thank you very much, everybody, and have a great day.